Let's talk about one of my favourite ways to germinate avocado seeds. G'day avocado enthusiasts and welcome to Scott Grows and Avocado Tree where we talk about avocado themes. And today we're going to be germinating some avocado seeds using plastic bags and damp paper towel. It's really easy to do and I find really effective. But to start with, why? Would I do this? Well, it's helpful to understand what seeds need in order to germinate. And germinating just means that seeds start their life, really. They have been triggered to start growing. So to germinate a seed, we need three main ingredients for most seeds anyway. And that is heat, oxygen, and water. So when we've got some moisture, we've got the right temperature, and we've got some oxygen, we are ready to go. And using plastic bags and paper towel provide all of those things. You don't vacuum seal the plastic bag or anything. It gives a little bit of heat because it's a little enclosed environment. It's gonna contain that heat nicely, which can actually raise it a little bit compared to room temperature, which makes it a really effective way to germinate seeds. So let's stop talking and let's start doing. So I'm gonna need a few things. First of all, I'm going to need some avocado seeds. I have already peeled these. So I had an avocado, I let the seed dry for a few days before I peeled the seed coat off. You can check out my video as to why we do that and the experiment that we conducted as an international community of avocado enthusiasts as to why peeling it makes it more effective. I'm also going to need some paper towel, a plastic Ziploc bag and some water. You don't need a spray bottle to do this, you could just use your tap if you need to. But this makes it easy during a tutorial to use it. So what do I do now? Well, I'm going to take off a few sheets of paper towel and I'm gonna place my avocado seeds on it. And you don't wanna overload it. So I'm just using four avocado seeds for now. You can use less, that's fine. And I'm just going to arrange them on the paper towel, like so, so they're not touching each other, good at the space but really it doesn't matter too much, even if they are touching. Then I'm going to get some more paper towel and I'm going to lay it on top, just like that. Now I'm going to kind of fold it together so that it fits in the paper bag. Now this is not exactly rocket science here. I've just kind of got a ball of avocado seeds. Then I'm going to stuff them into the plastic bag. You notice how I haven't put any water on them yet. You can if you want to, if you're using a tap, Moisten your paper towel first before you put them in there, but because I'm putting them in the bag uh, with this, and I have a mister, I'm just going to miss them in a second. So I have just put them into the bag like that. And now I need to mist it. So I'm just going to put my mister in there and I'm going to give it a liberal spray. So I'm going to give it quite a bit of moisture and I'll flip it over and do the other side as well so that both sides are pretty wet. We don't want to have puddles in there too much, but we do need to make sure that the paper towel is damp. If there's not enough moisture in there, it's not going to do anything. If there's too much, we might have run into some issues. So I'm noticing that I don't have any puddles and I can start to see that the seeds are, oh, I can see them a little bit because the paper towel is a little bit translucent. And that is going to be all good. If you have selected a Ziploc bag that has a little window, it's nice and easy to add the date that you started this. Even if you didn't, if you have a permanent marker like this, you can add the date if you want to just keep the track. So I'm going to add the date to mine and that's just going to help me keep a track of how long it's been in there for. And we're almost ready to leave it. So now I'm going to just make sure that there's plenty of air in the bag. I'm not going to squeeze it out and then I'm just going, I don't need to blow it into it either. I just need to make sure that there's some in there and I'm just going to zip lock it like that. There should be a bit of air left in there. So you can, as you can see, it's kind of a bit of an air bag. And that's really all there is to it for now. You do want to have that pocket of air in there because oxygen is one of the ingredients necessary for germination. Now, where do we leave this? Well, heat is important. So it's important to leave it in a warm spot, not hot, because it will cook the avocado seeds if it gets above, you know, 30 or 40 degrees Celsius, and we don't want that. But we do need to keep it in a place that isn't too cold. Judging by your own environment, if leaving it in a sunny place is going to keep it warm but not too hot, that's fine. I'm going to leave it in a 
fairly shaded spot. It doesn't need to be kept in the light at this point. Light is not an ingredient for germination for most plants. They can do that in the dark. They will need light eventually when they get leaves, but we'll be taking them out of this bag for that. So I'm going to leave it in a warm spot and we'll check in in a few weeks time. And through the magic of video editing, you don't have to wait for them to germinate. I've already done the waiting for you. So let's take a peek inside and see what we have got. So it's been oh, about a little bit over four months. It probably didn't need to be this long. Uh, let's have a look though. So I'll pull it out. The paper towel is still moist and I was checking every so often to make sure that it was still moist because if it's dry, they're going to die. So I'm going to unwrap them now. And as you can see, whoa, some of them have gone a little bonkers. As you can see, we have got three out of the four germinating. And this one does not look dead yet. So I'm actually going to wrap it back up in a moment and let it sit for a little longer. It hasn't changed color. It's still maintaining that creamy or even slightly pink beige kind of color, which tells me it's not rotting yet. So we're going to hope that that one continues to grow a little later on. But these three have all got roots. Now the roots are not really going down. They are just growing wherever they would grow in the paper towel. So what am I going to do with these now? Let's chat about it. What can we do with these now? So they have started growing, but what's the next step? Well, as with many things, we've got a couple of options. Now, if your seeds have a, have a root going down, you could put some toothpicks in and continue growing it with the water and toothpick method until you're ready to plant it, put it into soil. But what I'm going to do with these is that I'm just going to put them straight into soil, especially considering the roots are not really cooperating and going down. If I had stopped them about a month ago, I probably could have put them in with water and toothpicks, but at the moment, we're gonna have parts of the seed which are out. I'm not gonna be able to bend that down. So I'm going to bury the entirety of the, se of the root and the seed underground. Some of them actually started growing baby shoots. Not a huge problem. It doesn't actually really matter too much which direction the seed is. I am going to put them mostly so that the up is pointing up, maybe slightly to the side like that, but that's going to be okay. As I said before, I will put this one that hasn't germinated yet back into the paper towel so that it can, can still have a chance to germinate and grow. This is a really easy way to germinate seeds to get them started. I've got a pretty good hit right here and even the one that hasn't started growing yet is still alive. So we might still get some growth. Now, if you would like to put your straight in the soil, I actually have a couple of videos which I recommend you watch. One of them is actually a video where I planted seeds which I germinated, forgot about, using the plastic bag and paper towel method into soil. And the other one is my general avocado soil mix. Both of those videos can be found in the description below and they have appeared on the screen around now. So if you want to forward back to click on them, you can do that, but they're in the description below and I recommend that you check them out so that you give your avocados the best chance of survival. This is the easy bit, caring for avocados once they're in soil, once they're a little bit older, that's when things start to get a little bit trickier and where people start to encounter problems. So I recommend you watch those videos to give yourselves and your avocados the best chance of survival. That's where we're going to leave it for today. So really easily, you just need a plastic bag, some paper towels, some water avocado seeds to get them growing. It's efficient, it's reasonably quick, and we get a good success rate. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you have enjoyed it and you found it helpful and it's given you inspiration for your own avocado growing journeys. If you'd like to follow me on social media, I am at Scott Grows and Avocado Tree on Instagram. Please make sure you're subscribed to Scott Grows and Avocado Tree on YouTube so that you don't miss any future avocado growing updates, tips, those kinds of things. It's been a pleasure to have you here again. Thank you so much once more and I will see you next time. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree.